the firewall migration tool has been helping users migrate their Cisco ASA and other third-party firewall configuration to Cisco Secure Firewall. Recently, we have launched a new version of the tool, FMT 3.0, with newly added features now supporting RAV pin migration and migration of your firewall configuration to cloud-delivered FMC. Hi, my name is Samir Singh and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can migrate Cisco ASA remote access VPN configuration to Cisco Secure Firewall using FMC. Log in to the tool and begin by uploading your ASA configuration. Once the parsing is complete, we can see the different components that will be converted, and that includes RAV pin configuration with five connection profiles. Click on Next and provide details of the FMC to which the target FTD is registered and select that FTD. For RAV pin configuration, the FMC version should be 7.2 or above and FTD should be 7.0 or above. The tool lists all the features that would be considered for migration and will be configured on FMC. And in version 3.0, we can see we have the option of selecting remote access VPN as well. Proceed with the parsing, and once the parsing is complete, the tool displays a summary of the different components that would be migrated. A more detailed version of that can be found in the free migration report, which contains the list of all the different components on ASA that will be migrated and how many of those. The report will also provide the list of unsupported configuration. It will provide those configurations which will be partially migrated and the list of configuration that will be ignored. Click on next and proceed with the migration process. In this video, we will be focusing on RVPN part of the configuration. Now there are certain three migration activities that need to be completed when migrating RVPN configuration. This includes creating trust points as PKI objects on the FMC. The certificates can be exported from ASA and used to create the trust point. Additionally, all the required AnyConnect packages and AnyConnect profiles can be uploaded on the FMC in the VPN section. On the tool, all the REVPN related configuration to be added on FMC can be found under the REVPN tab of the Review and Validate section. The AnyConnect Files tab lists all the AnyConnect packages and profiles identified in the ASA content and allows the user to select the corresponding file uploaded previously on FMC. The AnyConnect profiles can either be uploaded directly on the FMC or the user has the option to upload them on the FMC tool itself. It's important to press the Save button after any upload or selection so that the changes are recorded in the tool. The AAA tab lists all the AAA servers, realms, SAML, local username, and password available in the configuration. The user will have the option to update the domain for LDAP servers, entity ID for SAML, update keys and passwords, or rename the objects if required. The address pool tab lists all the pools that are present in the ASA configuration and will be migrated. Group Policy tab lists the group policies which are configured on ASA along with the profiles configured in the policy. If the profile with the same name are present on FMC, they will be pre-populated. Else, the user can select one from the available list. It shows the client profile, the management VPN profile, the client module, and their associated client profile. The connection profile tab lists the connection profiles that will be created on FMC along with the associated group policy. In the trust point section, user will map the trust point created on FMC as part of the pre-migration activity with the trust point present on ESA. To update the trust point, click on action, update trust point and select the trust point from the list. In the SAML section, provide the identity provider and service provider certificate that were previously created on FMC. If there are any overriding trust points in any SAML group policy on ASA, they can be updated in the override SAML trust point section. 
certificate map in the configuration will be listed in the certificate map tab. Once all the updates are complete, proceed with validating the configuration. Go through the validation summary and proceed with pushing the configuration onto FMC. This may take a little while. Once complete, the tool displays a summary of the different components pushed to FMC, and we can download the post-push migration report for additional details. It displays the name of the access policy created, the number of rules that are present in that policy. It will list the RAVPN connection profiles that are created, summary of the access rules that are optimized by the tool, with the option to download the detailed optimization report, it will list the network and port objects that are unreferenced in the configuration. Under unsupported configuration, all the AnyConnect profiles that were not uploaded by the user are listed. It displays the RDBP policy that is created, the different tunnel groups that will be created with their group policy and authentication methods, the RDBP and IQT settings, and the associated interface. And upon completion of the migration, the RAVPN policy containing the connection profiles as per the EAC configuration with the same settings should be present on FMC. Now, let's take a look at how we can migrate our firewall configuration from supported platforms to cloud-delivered FMC. Select your platform and upload the configuration file to be migrated. Once the parting summary is displayed, click on Next. This time, select Cloud Delivered FMC. Select your CDO region and then enter your CDO API token. If you already have an API token, you can use that. And if you do not have an API token, you can create one by going to CDO and navigating the settings, general settings. Once the token is generated, copy that and paste it in the section. Click on connect. Once successfully connected, it will list your FTT devices that are present. Select your FTT device and proceed. Following this, all the steps remain the same as they are currently. You can review and validate the configuration and proceed with pushing the config onto the cloud delivered FMC. Once complete, you can verify the newly added configuration by logging into your cloud delivered FMC and ensure that all the components added are in accordance with your source content. This brings us to the end of this video covering some of the new features as part of the Firepower Migration Tools 3.0. I hope this was useful and thank you.